Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God, the, the earth, earth and, and all, all its, its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful, to, to live, live together, together in, in unity. unity. Love and faith come together, justice, justice and peace, peace join hands. hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones, stones would, would shout, shout aloud. aloud. Open our lips, O God, and, and our, our mouths, mouths shall proclaim your praise. praise. Move among us, God, give us life. Let, Let your people, people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With, With your, your spirit, spirit of freedom, freedom sustain, sustain us. us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore, Restore us in body, body mind, mind and, and spirit. spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and, and the Spirit, Spirit enable you to grow, to grow in love. Amen. Before, Before God, with, with the people, people of God, God we, we confess, confess to turning to away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen.
So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we, we affirm, affirm we are we made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Praise in the highest heaven, the one who made the earth. Praise God's wonderful deeds. Praise God's excellent greatness. Praise God with the blast of the trumpet and the strumming of the guitar. Praise God with rhythm and dancing, fiddles, drums and flutes. Praise God with clanging cymbals, the louder they clash, the better. Let, Let everything that breathes praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen now in the reading of scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is taken from Acts chapter 17 verses 16 to 31. While Paul was waiting for them in Athens, he was greatly distressed to see that the city was full of idols. So he reasoned in the synagogue with both Jews and God-fearing Greeks, as well as in the marketplace day by day with those who happened to be there. A group of Epicurean and Stoic philosophers began to debate with him. Some of them asked, what is this babbler trying to say? Others remarked, he seems to be advocating foreign gods. They said this because Paul was preaching the good news about Jesus and the resurrection. Then they took him and brought him to a meeting of the Areopagus, where they said to him, May we know what this new teaching is that you are presenting? You are bringing some strange ideas to our ears, and we would like to know what they mean. All the Athenians and the foreigners who lived there spent their time doing nothing but talking about and listening to the latest ideas. Paul then stood up in the meeting of the Areopagus and said, People of Athens, I see that in every way you are very religious. But as I walked around and looked carefully at your objects of worship, I found even an altar with this inscription, To an unknown God. So you are ignorant of the very thing you worship. And this is what I am proclaiming to you. The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and, and earth and does not live in temples built by human hands. And he is not served by human hands as if he needed anything. Rather, he himself gives everyone life and breath and everything else. From one man he made all the nations, that they should inhabit the whole earth. And he marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move 
and have our being. As some of your own poets have said, we are his offspring. Therefore, since we are God's offspring, we should not think that the divine being is like gold or silver or stone, an image made by human design and skill. In the past, God overlooked such ignorance, but now he commands all people everywhere to repent. For he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice by the man he has appointed. He has given proof of this to everyone by raising him from the dead. the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Blessed, blessed are you poor. The kingdom of God is yours. Blessed, blessed are you hungry, for soon you will be filled. Blessed now are you, you weepers, even though your eyes are filled with tears. Soon you will be full of loving, overcoming sadness, heart and fears. Blessed, blessed are you all, when people hate and cheer. Bless them, bless the ones who scorn, because you trust in me. When oppression comes, face it, face it with your feet and dance for joy. Great is the reward of heaven, keeps for those whom hell cannot employ. Turn to mourn and weep and fear. You who were so well, well treated, never realized when God was near. Love, love your enemies, do good to those who hate. Pray, pray for those who harm, and don't retaliate. And offer those who want your coat, your shirt as well. Give to those who ask, as always, love the Lord of whom your actions tell. Is the earth breaking, open to warming or warning? Our winter hearts have frozen our losses. Spring flowers multiply at root and cities multiply, the uprooted greened by grief. The new wind touches growth, yet we remain untouched. It is another spring for some. The earth has heaved, struggling for breath, but drawn to sprout again. Our final chance falls heavy on uncertain futures, smothered by ancient greed, helplessness, passivity, and urged to pass the other side. We pray for all those affected by COVID, those who are dying, those who are grieving,
On the 16th day of the month, we pray for the Community Life Committee and our advisory and working groups. And we pray for the following countries and their peoples. Tonga, Samoa, Tuvalu, French Polynesia, Tahiti, Cook Islands, the Federated States of Micronesia, Palau, Kiribati, Nauru and the Marshall Islands, and New Zealand. And we pray for members belonging to the family group of Cumbria, Alison Adam and Martin Coe, Jackie Bullman, Ruth Harvey and Nick Austin with Freya and Sophie, Judith Eilert, Francis McIntyre, Nikki Pennington and Graham Wilson, Elaine Park, Cara Riley, Stephen Wright and Ian Webster. And on the 16th day of this month, we pray for associate members in Scotland East and South East, Edinburgh and the Lothians. Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. O Christ, you are within each of us. It is not just the interior of these walls. It is our own inner being you have renewed. We are your temple, not made with human hands. We are your body. If, if every wall should crumble and every church decay, we are your habitation. Nearer are you than breathing, closer than hands and feet. Ours are the eyes with which you, in the mystery, look out with compassion on the world. So we bless you for this place, for your directing of us, your redeeming of us, your presence among us. Take us outside, O Christ, outside holiness, to where nations clash at the crossroads of the world. So shall this building continue to be justified, and your people find cause to bless your name. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We, we will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings, offerings that cost us nothing. nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek, seek peace and, and pursue, pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God, God in community, holy and one.